Achieving a breakthrough, you know, it's hard, but yet it's not impossible. When we think of a breakthrough, we think of like a revelation, an epiphany moment where we discover our next move and how to acquire whatever it is we've been waiting for. But breakthroughs only happen the last five to 10% of the effort we've been putting out. So if we've been grinding for however long, trying to become the best version of who we can become, if we're trying to acquire a new career, a new job, a new partner, to fix the relationship, whatever it may be, in order to acquire that breakthrough, it requires the last five to 10% of mental strength. Breaking through the illusion of what we believed has been stopping us is the ultimate goal. But in order to have that accomplishment, it comes down to stamina. It comes down to the amount of work we are able to endure to be able to have that breakthrough. That last five or 10% is going to test your ability to see if what you were trying to acquire, you can sustain that. You have the stamina and the agility and the resilience to be able to break through that barrier. When we think of a revelation or an epiphany, that is like when the piece of the puzzle we've been trying to figure out finally reveals itself. And when it reveals itself, we become aligned to whatever it is we are trying to go after. So the whole point of a breakthrough is to get yourself aligned to the specific outcome that you desire. But nine times out of 10, we end up giving up because we don't have that last five to 10% of the mental strength to see things all the way through. The universe will, will always give you what you desire. The universe will always put you in scenarios that allow you to maintain and accomplish whatever inner desire we set ourselves upon. But if we just believe that I am going to obtain this. I am going to get this goal. I am going to accomplish this. I will have this partner. I will have this career. I will have this lifestyle without the stamina and without the hard work and the discipline and the agility to allow ourselves to really strive for that breakthrough. It will never come. It will never arrive. Life is not easy. Life is meant to be a process, but not only is it a process, it's a process in which we adapt to patience. Patience is the biggest outbreak to having a breakthrough because without the consistent without the consistent flow of progress putting little results in putting little steps of of gratitude and 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 hard work to whatever endeavor we want to pursue without the patience and the adaptability to be able to have the moment of continuous hard work, it's never gonna happen. So the last five, per, five to 10% is where our, our faith really comes into play, is where the hope really comes into play, is where the hard work comes into play, and is where this stamina is created. It's where it's built. Rome wasn't built overnight. And if it was, it would be terrible. <laughs> it, would, it would self-destruct, it would be destructive. It would be the worst place in the world if it was built overnight. But having breakthroughs is like, it's, it's one of the greatest feelings in the world because when you finally have that breakthrough, you're able to look back and say, wow, look what I've been able to accomplish. Look at all the dedication. Look at all the hard work. Look at all the discipline and the commitment and the stamina and the resilience and the strength that I've been able to endure this entire time. So it's all about pushing yourself beyond your limits. It's pushing yourself to, to, to match your highest potential. If we don't have the resilience and if we don't have the strength, that last five, or ten, five to 10 percent, we're just going to give up. And just when you're about to give up is when everything could change. So having a breakthrough is all about pushing yourself beyond the limitations of what you think you can acquire for yourself. That's what it's all about. Breakthroughs are there for everybody. But are we willing 
to break through that resistance? Are we willing to break through what we believe is causing all of this pressure? Because when you finally break through, whew, epiphany, revelation, oh my God, I know what I can do. I know what I can do this. I know I can solve this. I can solve this. I can solve that. I can do this. I can do that. It becomes one big magical show. All right. I love you guys. And as always, peace and love.